Would games be better if you can, you know, essentially customize the dialogue to your liking? Now, the dialogue there, I'm not just talking about changing the entire words of the game so the dialogue makes no sense whatsoever. No, 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 my friends. I'm talking about dialogue in games when you have to click through the dialogue to keep it rolling. Wouldn't it be better if it was just a nice, quick, short little cutscene or something that... The dialogue, you didn't have to sit there and mash, 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 mash. If you can see me right now, I'm mashing. Like, I'm really mashing this button. Anyways, the dialogue, the text dialogue in certain games is quite annoying when it comes to... Uh, you already played the game and you're replaying the game to see how, how it is. Maybe you already read the story or you just don't care about reading the story. Hey! We got something in common. Um, anyways, would it be better if the dialogue, there was an option that you can choose to just skip the entire dialogue or there's a button combination that you can skip. Usually if you click B on the controller, it will speed up the dialogue, but it doesn't always work because you still have to wait for the characters to talk in between each other. But in any video game that you think of, I think that the dialogue has got to go. Now, for the first playthrough of the game, A, it's completely fine to have that there. But when you you already know what's happening, you've already seen the story, maybe you even rushed to the end the first time and got the, the story things done. Just like in Tears of the Kingdom or something. Or even Pokemon. So the Pokemon is probably a better option for this. Uh, because, you know when you beat the game the first time, and you're having a great time, you beat it, you know all the story beats, you, you just don't care about the dialogue of just the random people like, Hey, you're not supposed to go there. Anyways, and then there's a battle. Um, you know, I have a feeling it might be better if they get rid of that. Scrap the idea of dialogue and make it so you can just click one simple little skip button. And then it skips over the entire thing. Because right now, I am replaying Pokemon Pearl. Shining Pearl? Shining Pearl. To make a video on it, is it good to play the game in 2024 or whatever? How was the game in 2024? And I've been getting through it, but I've, I noticed that it's really, really annoying when you can't skip the dialogue. Like, you, I don't know if it, that's just me, that I'm, I, don't, I don't like dialogue, but you can't skip it. And you just have to sit there and mash, 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 mash. The B button half the time doesn't even work for that stuff. You're still mashing for a good minute. Especially if you just finished the gym or something. Or you're fighting the team, the te team galactic, the team galactic. Anyways, you're fighting the team and then they're talking amongst each other. And you're just standing there like, my gosh. Hmm, so I'm just listening into the conversation now. I got it. Anyways, you just listen there. And... It's really annoying because I probably could have gotten the game done by now if I'm not stuck mashing a button because it wouldn't let me through. Now, game mashing. That's not the only thing with dialogue. Now, they could add the simple little skip button or they can make it kind of like a tiny little cutscene. But I see there's a problem with that because it uses resources and to make a whole bunch of cutscenes and you don't really want to make a cutscene for a take your master sword and throw it at the window i don't know where that came from but you don't really want to do a cutscene but i although that cutscene would be cool though but you really don't want to do a cutscene for that now the dialogue options if you were able to change them i would say you can either make it so it's super fast or just like nice and bubble letter like big bubble letters so then it feels like you're getting through it maybe you you want to use the entire dialogue script thing as a book hey maybe you gotta read a book and you want to use a video game for an option to read a book i mean hey go for it you got a whole bunch of dialogue there you can essentially play through the entire game and read a 12 chapter book so that, that's pretty cool 
And most games, they have pretty good dialogue option. And most games, you know, sometimes you can speed up the text or you can make it... Sometimes you can skip it, but that's kind of rare. Most of the time, you can speed it up, though. But skipping it is on a whole other level. Now... Now, now, there's there's a whole bunch of things that you could do to speed it up, but I mean, you can just walk away and then come back. Like there should be an autoplay if that's the case. And yeah, I'm just saying that no dialogue would be a fantastic option, or you can just skip it. Just add a big old skip button that says skip. So then you click plus or you click whatever button it is on PlayStation, or you click the other button on Xbox and boom, it skips. And then you don't have to deal with it. Oh my gosh, it's annoying. Yeah, so besides that, how's your day going? My day is going um, interesting after making this video. Um, yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. I really appreciate it, by the way. And also, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, what should we call this? Why Dialogue is Horrible video. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And with that being said, see you in the next one.